to Beverly's Design Time. Today I'm back just to do a quick Halloween DIY. I actually had a few of them planned, but things got a little busy so I haven't had a chance to get them all recorded. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one out and hopefully um, I'll be able to get a second one out. And if I do, I'll put it on my second channel and I have a link below to my second channel. Okay, so let's just get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to use is one of the hurricane glasses that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. I also found this candle holder at Dollar Tree. They don't normally carry these, um, but I was lucky enough to find two. So I'm going to use this. And um, Dollar Tree carries this creepy cloth. I've already made one of these candle holders ahead of time, so um, I don't have the packaging. But this is what it looks like. And I'm sure you guys have seen it there before. I also found some diamond wrap, and it's called Diamond Wrap Reuben, but it's Halloween and it's black. So I picked that up also. In today's DIY, I'll be using some of this acrylic paint. And you can also use black spray paint. I didn't have any black spray paint, so I went with this. I'm going to be using some black glitter. I also picked up some of these black gems from Michaels. I think it was like a dollar and fifty or a dollar. I don't know, but I've already used some off. But yeah, my package of these. We're gonna need some Mod Podge, and I'm also gonna be using some of this glitter spray to give it some extra bling and to seal in the glitter. We're gonna be using some E6000 and hot glue gun, and I have a brush here for the paint and a container for the paint. Okay, so let's just get started. The first thing I want to do is paint my base black. I won't be putting any paint here because I'll be gluing my glass on top later. I'm just going to wipe the top off, let this completely dry, and while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and start working on our glass. Okay, so I'm back and um, I had to grab some scissors. I forgot about those in the beginning. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is add some of my creepy cloth to my glass. I want to wrap it all the way around to give it a wicked effect. So what I'm going to do is add some Mod Podge on my glass and then take the creepy cloth and attach it to the glass. As you can see it's really clear right now but when I add the Mod Podge it's actually going to dull it out give it kind of a cloudy coating which makes it a little creepier so I'm going to go ahead and see how much we need to go around the glass and then cut it and uh, start gluing it on. So I'm going to cut a little bit more than what we need. Just to make sure we have enough. So now just spread out your creepy cloth and make sure everything fits. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to lay my glass down. Get some Mod Podge. And put a thick layer of the Mod Podge on. The thicker the layer, the better. 
and it'll actually help hold the creepy claws in place. All right, so I'm just gonna move this over. Put this down and just pat down on it. Pat it in place. And you're gonna get glue on your hands, but don't worry about it. Try to make a straight seam. Okay, so then I'm going to take more Mod Podge and put it on top. So what I'm going to do now is let this dry. I'll come back and add more Mod Podge on the bottom and on the top until we complete our glass. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, it's mostly dry. Um, you'll still see some white places here and there. It's still wet, but I'm not going to worry about that. So what I went ahead and did off camera was trim the bottom. So now I'm going to trim this part off where it meets and then um, this top part off. go back in later if I need to and add some more Mod Podge if I need to seal the seam. Alright, so what I'll do is come back in here with some more Mod Podge and just seal this down right at the top to give it a more finished look. But yeah, how you guys like it so far? You see how spooky it's starting to look already? Oh, and I forgot to mention one other thing. I don't know why I forgot to mention these in the beginning, but I will be using some of these black roses that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And they have these too with the eyeballs in them. And I actually purchased these for another DIY that I might not have a chance to do, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, these come with little creepy spiders on there too. But yeah, I'm going to be adding some black roses as well. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge right along the top of the rim to seal this down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and let this dry. So while the top part of the candle holder is drying, I'm going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge and glitter to the base of the candle holder. Okay guys, I'm back and it's partially dry. And now you can see how the Mod Podge is giving the glass a more cloudy look, which adds to the spook factor. <laughs> All right, guys. So now the next thing I want to do is add some of my Halloween black bling around the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, measure that out. And I'm going to start in the back where I have my seam. Right 
here, so let's just cut that. So now I'll take my glue gun and add a little bit of glue to get it started. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some of these black gems. And I'm starting out with the big ones at first. So I'm going to place one right in the back. Now I'm going to go right across from there, which would be the front. Place one there. And then I'll put one between the two. So we'll go this way. And I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it. So now we have four. So I'm just going to go around and add a gem right between each one of the four gems that I've already placed. So now I'm going to go in with the next size, which is this one, and put them between each of the bigger stones. So that's what we have so far. So now, this is pretty much dry. The next thing that I want to do is seal this glitter in with some glitter spray. Okay guys, before we move on, um, now that this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the glitter spray to this also. So I'm just going to add a light dusting all the way around. And then I'll come back and we'll continue on with the project. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I actually had to spray the base a second time with the glitter spray. So while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and add my flowers onto my vase. So what I'm going to do is just pop these off. And um, I'm going to go ahead and add some of these leaves too later. some more over here all right so what I'm going to do is just cut the bottom part off of the flower like that
And as you can see, some of the plastic pieces came off. So what I'm going to do is just use my hot glue to put that back in place. And then I'm going to turn this upside down and just start gluing these on. And I'm just going to press this on. I'll do the same thing directly across. This one still has the stem on. Be a little generous with the glue. So what you could do here is just check them and see if they're all secure. If not, then add more glue. Like this one just came off the base. So now I'll go in and fill in these open spaces with more of the roses. Okay, so my camera is about to die. I'm going to go ahead and let the battery charge a little bit, then we'll come back and work on this one. Okay, more. guys, so I went ahead and put the camera on charge. So when you get your black roses, you'll notice these little small branches. So what I'm going to do is cut those off, and I want to add four of these to my vase. And the way that I want to put them on is, like right here, there's a little bit of an opening. I can actually move these around to close that up a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and add those little branches right there. Since I'm doing four, I guess I'll do one here. Let's turn it around this way. Okay. So now what I'll do is just go in and start cleaning up my glue webs. And um, I do want to add some of these black leaves. So what I'm going to do is just cut them. And there's three leaves on each one. So I'll just go ahead and cut them at the cut them in the center. And just add some here. Just add some on top. See which way I want this one to go, maybe like this to help fill in those open spaces. You could always add more roses, but I don't want to overdo that. Put one here.
I want to add a little bit of glue to this petal. To glue. All right. Okay, so I'm happy with that so far. Um, okay, so now I'm going to flip it over and add just a few of the leaves on the bottom. So now what I want to do is go ahead and clean up all these glue webs and I'll spray glitter on all my roses and leaves, glam it up a little bit more. So yeah, we're almost done. So I'm going to do that. We'll come back and then glue this on the base and we'll be done. Okay guys, so I'm back and here's our base. After spraying the glitter spray to seal the glitter onto the base. So now what I want to do is take some E6000. Close that up. So now I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue. to hold it in place while it sets up. Flip it over. And there we have it. So what I'll do now is add weight on the top to help press this down and um, I'll come back tomorrow and let you see how I plan to use this. Hi everyone, I'm back and these are my completed candle holders and I'm calling them Spooky Glam. So as you can see I have a red candle on the inside of this one and these are Dollar Tree candles so I'm just going to hold it by the wick and just drop it down. Move it over to the center and I like the red contrast against the black. You could also use white if you'd like, or you could use a black candle. It depends on you. I don't know if you guys can pick this up on camera or not, but I do have the glitter on the roses as well as the leaves and the vase itself. That gives it more of a glam factor to me. So um, I really like the way they turned out. I'm really happy with them. Um, hopefully I'll be able to put up a tablescape using these within the next couple of days. So look out for that. Um, and you guys remember this piece. Um, if you haven't, I'll leave a link below to show you how to make this. And I'm just using two of the LED lights, one here under the base and one here under the skull. I think I'll go ahead and use some of those eyeball roses and drape them around the head as well. Yeah, so I'm really happy with how they turned out. I can see this being done in any color. It would be gorgeous. I'm thinking about doing it in white now, silver, maybe even red or green. So keep a lookout for that as well. Comment below if you like these and if you're planning on making them and, and what color you would like to see these in. So yeah guys, we're coming up on 45,000 subscribers and I'm really happy about that. And I'm really looking forward to 50,000. So to celebrate, I'm going to start adding gift cards to my videos. So you guys stay tuned for those. And the gift cards will be for DollarTree.com. And the way that that works is you take down the code and you go shopping at DollarTree.com. So yeah, look out for those guys. I'm going to go ahead and start doing it for you. I'm also going to start adding shout outs to my subscribers and my group members as well. So look for your name soon. I'm sure you'll see it. So yeah, guys, um, that's it for now. I'm really loving this. And like I said, I'm going to come back and try to do a tablescape within the next couple of days so you can see how it looks as well. But I'm going to go ahead and like these so you can see what it looks like lit. Check out my shout outs and look out for those codes in my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.